when I was younger, I used to watch, when I was younger, I used to watch Wild Kingdom. Did any of you ever watch that? Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom? Who was the main guy? Who was the zoologist? Marlon Perkins, good job. Marlon Perkins, the guy with white hair from Missouri. And Wild Kingdom, every week he had different animals on that show. It, it was Saturday night, I remember. And in Wild Kingdom, you know, he would describe these different animals, like lions. Lions... If you're on a horse, and if you think you're going to run away from a lion, being on a horse, you won't do it. You can't do it. Because lions can run up to 35 miles an hour. They can leap up to 30 feet in one shot. Okay? They're, they're on top of the food chain. Now, you know, coy we got coyotes here. And coyotes, they aren't, you know, they'll, they'll probably even let you go. If there's even a group of them, they'll let you go. Now, wolves are a different matter. Even one wolf by itself might even try to come after you. Just one. In a, in a pack? Oh, you might as well just put salsa on you. Okay? You might as well just put some salsa on you. All right? It's important that we know, you know, when we're dealing with, with different entities, you know, when you're dealing with a predator, it's important that you know what they do and how they do it. And why they do it. Yesterday, or last Sunday, I was at a baptism party. I was at a, I was at a baptism party last week. And th this, this man, the grandpa of the baby that was baptized, he started talking about shepherds and hunters. Let, let's go back to cats. Let's go back to the feline cats. And he was talking about jaguars. Okay, that's, you know, your panthers, jaguars, lions. Okay? And he was telling me, you, you know jaguars are like three times stronger than any man. They, they don't have the strength as a lion, but they got a lot of capabilities to climb. And he says, you know, if you're, if you're a shepherd... If you're, in, if you're in Tanzania, and if you're a shepherd, you have to know about cats. You have to know about lions. You have to know about jaguars. You have to know about those things. And he said, you know, those shepherds and hunters, let's just pretend this is a spear. And halfway up that spear, there's a horizontal bar. There's a horizontal bar halfway up that spear. And a hunter and a shepherd in Tanzania knows that if he's confronting a jaguar or even a lion, they will leap at you before they get you, before they attack you, they're going to leap at you. They're going to leap. They're going to leap. You have to know that. If you've got a spear, you know that jaguar is going to leap at you. You've got, a, you've got one up on him. Okay? Because when he leaps, he's going to leave himself vulnerable. When a jaguar leaps, he's going to leave himself vulnerable. All right? And that's where you make the most of your opportunity. Then you stab it, but that's not it. 
going to mass. That's just not it. That jaguar will make its way up the spear to get you. That's why you got a horizontal bar here on the spear. So once you pinned him, he can't get you because there's a horizontal bar on that spear. You know, we got to know these things. Brothers and sisters, we are dealing, you know, that, who does the wolf represent? In today's gospel, who does the wolf represent? Who, do, who does the wolf represent? Satan. Oh, Father Tony, stop talking about Satan and evil. I, I just want to hear you talk about love and goodness and kindness. Okay, I understand that. But you... I mean, Jesus talks more about hell than he does heaven. We got to know these things. If I think that... I, if I just think that I provide for my family, I got a good job, I got a good house, and I've done my job, I've arrived, I've arrived. You know, Christianity, if you're baptized, you've got salsa on you. You've just put salsa on you if you were baptized. That means that there's an evil entity that's ready to get rid of you, that can't stand you. All right? And if you're going to be a Christian, if you ignore that, you're going into the jungle of Tanzania without knowing anything about being a shepherd or hunting. You don't know, you are going to get it. You're going to get it real good. You won't last long at all. And to think that we can be naive about certain tactics of the enemy, why well, want the mass on Sunday? But that's not it. That jaguar is going to make its way up the spear. During the week, there's other ways. Because when we're dealing with evil, brothers and sisters, we're dealing with principalities, as Scripture says, principalities and dominions that go beyond our understanding and our abilities. We have to know things and we have to initiate things. We have to know and initiate. Okay? So as a priest, I'm here, I'm like a scout. I'm like a scout. I'm here to bring you to Jesus, but you know what? And I can even, you know what, part of this is I can go as a shepherd, as, well, you're a shepherd, Father Tony, you're called to protect us like Jesus, okay? I'm going to go outside your house tonight, and I'm going to stand outside your house. You'll probably call the cops on me after a while. You see, I can only stand outside one person's house. As a human being, as a, as a shepherd, I am limited. I am limited. I don't, I've only got so much time and I'm going to fall asleep. I'm going to fall asleep. Jesus, the good shepherd, that's the one you want to follow. That's the one that's always going to be with you. I'm, I'm going to die. They're going to move me in a couple years. But Jesus is always going to be with you. Heck, even the people you're sitting next to are going to die. They probably won't be with you on your deathbed. I got to kind of shout because that's the way it works in this church. Okay, the echoes a little bit. Because if I talk like this and that, it's, I don't think the message is going to go very well. Okay? So we see here, brothers and sisters, that we are, as Christians, we are called to live in this world. You're living in this world, and you have decided to become a Christian. You have decided, you have taken upon yourself matters that sometimes we don't even think about. All right? 
You've taken upon yourself to be a follower of Christ and to spread his message. Well, I'm not ordained. I'm not a nun. It don't matter. You're a follower of Christ. And so as followers of Christ, we're to proclaim the good news. And Jesus, the good shepherd, he's there with us to guide us. I can help you as a priest shepherd. I can administer sacraments to you. I can anoint you. I can hear your confession. But Jesus is that good shepherd that's always going to be with you.